Today on Ham Radio Q&A, does snow affect the ground radio performance of a vertical antenna? Well, keep watching because we're going to find out. Hi, I'm Michael, KB9VBR, your host for Ham Radio q and I'm on a mission to inspire and educate the amateur radio community, so if this is your first time watching, please consider hitting that subscribe button. Well, last weekend we received one of the many winter storms we usually get this time of year. Uh, the last one dumped about six inches of snow on us. So when I posted a picture of my Wolf River coil in the backyard with the snow uh, creeping up to it, um, I got a reply from Andy with the following question. Have you noticed the snow changing the tuning points? Mine has required me to tune longer as the SWR dip has moved after the snow. A benefit is that I've had lower SWR after tuning than I did without the snow. Maybe include this in a uh, Q&A and if there's a correlation between snow and ground activity and SWR. Well, that's a really great question. We know that uh, ground conductivity can affect the performance of your radial system. Different types of soil offer different uh, performance characteristics. If the soil is moist or wet, uh, the ground uh, will offer better performance than it will in, in other types. For example, rich moist soil uh, that you'd find in like agricultural land is gonna offer um, better uh, performance and conductivity than dry, hard, sandy, or rocky soil. And that's why if you're operating a radio on the beach, you'll find that if you throw your um, ground radio system into the water, uh, you're gonna get um, a better performance. But what about snow? Uh, does burying your radios in the snow make a difference? Well, I thought I would do a couple of tests to find out. So last November, I set up this Wolf River uh, Silver Bullet 1000 coil in the backyard. The antenna is on a short fence post and I'm using uh, three ground radials of 32 feet each in length. When I set up the coil, I recorded some measurements um, and uh, I'll take a new reading now to see if there's a difference. In order to make sure that um, my collar is in the same spot as it was last time, um, I had a little jig uh, made up previously so that I could um, record its position at the frequency I did the tests on. So I'll use that jig to realign the, realign the collar and then take some new readings. So um, why don't we uh, go inside, uh, take a look at the measurements and uh, see what the numbers say. Okay, I'm back inside out of the snow and um, I've, I've taken some readings uh, with the, the Rig Experts and 10 Analyzer. I've loaded them into the computer here and uh, we'll take a look at, um, at what the sweeps tell us. So the premise is that snow will cause the tuning to go long and it appears that this might be the case. Uh, if we take a look at our um, two scans here, uh, the first one, which is gonna be in green. Uh, this is the one that was done in November. Uh, with no snow on the ground, uh, center frequency is at 7200 kilohertz out of the 40 meter band, and uh, the SWR is at 1.26 to 1. Uh, the second sweep, and um, I'm going to click on here to turn it, uh, highlight it, it's in the um, purple. The uh, SWR, um, let's see, at 7200 is at 1.43 to 1. I think the lowest here is at 1.42 to 1, just a little bit higher up the, um, the band, um, but um, still really within kind of reasonable levels. Um, both are under, you know, both are under 1.5 to 1. So I, uh, using using this uh, antenna so far, I haven't really been too concerned about going out and retuning it at all. It's been working working just fine. If we uh, click on over to reactance and the um, the imp the impedance um, of the antenna, really between the one that was in the snow and the one that's not, those, so, those sweeps are so very similar. Um, reactance is, you know, next to, next to zero, uh, which, is a, which is really good. Um, the impedance hardly moves at all. So we see a slight increase of SWR, but um, the other values pretty much stay the same between um, bare ground and snow covered ground. So I guess, you know, it's pretty much, pretty much inconclusive. It can cause your SWR to go up just a little bitty bit, 
but overall, I don't think overall performance is really going to change if, um, if, the, um, if the radials are buried in the snow and if they're not. All in all, this seemed pretty inconclusive. So I tried searching for any research that would give me an explanation uh, for what's happening. Uh, my copy of the ARRL antenna uh, book wasn't really helpful as it had no information uh, pertaining to snow. Well, I found some anecdotal information on a few ham radio based forums online. Um, take that information for what it's worth. I did find a book uh, by the ITU or the International Telecommunications Union, their handbook on ground wave propagation that said, and I'm going to paragraph here, it was really brief. In some cases there may be seasonal variations uh, in surface wave propagation to freezing conditions where water becomes ice or to thick snow cover where these may cause changes in the effective ground conductivity. All of these changes may affect the intensity of the surface wave field. In particular, such seasonal changes may result in a reduction of strength in the summer. So snow possibly could enhance winter propagation, but I think that there are too many variables in the type and consistency of snow uh, that would make it difficult to really say that snow is a benefit or um, increases uh, your propagation ability. Now I must admit that my ground radios are made of insulated wire, so the snow really didn't come in contact with the bare conductor of the radial. But I don't think this would really make much of a difference though, as snow, especially dry snow, is a poor conductor to begin with. So I think the bottom line is, is that a snow covering the radios doesn't seem to make you know, much of a difference in the overall performance of the antenna. So my bottom line, snow can affect your SWR and tuning, and it may give you a ground wave propagation effect, but other than that, uh, radio waves seem to be blind to its presence. Of course, you know, if your antenna's radiators are snow covered or iced up, you know, they're, that's, gonna, that's gonna detune your antenna. So you're gonna have to you know, be concerned about that. But um, with snow on the ground, you know, it's not really an issue. So go on, go on outside, go play radio in the snow, I guess. So what do you think? Have um, you had a similar experience uh, with snow covered ground radials? Am I off base on my assumptions? Leave me a comment below. And if you could link to some resources on this subject that I may have missed, um, that would be greatly appreciated. I wanna see some, I wanna see some citation or some evidence here to help either way. Uh, we'll follow up on this in uh, the next Your Questions Answered video. For more articles and information, be sure to check out my blog at www.jpol-antenna.com. Your support of this channel drives the production of future videos. So what you can do for me is um, always, you know, give me the big thumbs up. I really appreciate that. Uh, check out any of the other suggested videos alongside here. And if you haven't already done so, press that subscribe button. Pressing subscribe and the bell notification will let you know when future videos are released. Well, that's it for this time. I'm Michael, KB9VBR. Have a great day and 73.